where have you been, Meg Ryan? Where have you been, Meg Ryan? Where have you been? Her movies are amazing. I have so many memories. Meg Ryan, you are America's sweetheart for a reason. We would have so, why is that dog barking? Me and movie Meg Ryan share all kinds of things in common. Happiness, fun, loving kindness. I'm a romantic movie partner in crime partner, person, friend. Oh, there's that dog again. I wonder if it's my dog. We should be friends, gal pals, we best friends. We would have so much in common. I mean, we would be those friends where I was always there for you and you were always there for me and we would be up to some kind of wild caper and it would all be a disaster. We would live in a cul-de-sac right next door to each other, right next to a park and a public pool. Maybe not a public pool. Our husbands would be best friends. Our kids could walk to school together. Comedy would ensue. It would end up perfectly in the end. See, do you hear it? Little. And we would live happily ever after. And Meg Ryan, I can remember where I was and what I was doing in my life based upon the romantic comedy that you have made. When Harry Met Sally. So good. I don't even need to go on about this, but of course I will. Billy Crystal, Meg Ryan, they meet when they're really young in college and then they forget about each other. Or he forgets about her and she never forgets about him. They go back and forth and they can't decide whether they like each other and then they end up getting together in the end. Peek and pie. Best romantic comedy of our time. If you have not seen When Harry Met Sally, you are, it's, I feel so bad for you. It, that movie is a classic. Sleepless in Seattle. Well, I remember exactly where I was when I saw that movie for the first time. It was uh, Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan. They have a long distance relationship. She hears about him. Well, they don't even have a relationship, I don't think. And the son is so cute. He's super instrumental in getting them together. And I don't know how they did it long distance. I don't know. Top of the Empire State Building, the heart. Valentine's Day. They got together and it was a happily ever after movie again. French Kiss with Kevin Klein. He is a shy stir. So adorable. I feel like it's my dog. She's gonna marry Timothy Hutton, jerk. Ends up hooking up with some other girl. Kevin Klein helps Meg Ryan find Timothy Hutton and along the way they fall in love and they live happily ever after on a vineyard in France. If that is not romantic, I don't know what is. You've Got Mail is my all time favorite movie. And I've only seen it about 750,000 times. I think my kids know that movie by heart too. Is that sad? Mm. Meg Ryan owns a little bookstore. Tom Hanks' character has a big bookstore. They meet in a chat room. His giant bookstore buys out the entire city of New York City, they start this relationship not knowing that it's them. And through their tumultuous irritation with each other, they find true love happiness. Flowers blooming and the music swells. And of course there's a happy ending. I'm not that kind of happy ending, but a happy, well there probably was that kind of happy ending because there's that dog again. Do you think it's my dog? 